Hey Gem, how are you my love? Welcome to Lady of the Unknown Oracle. My name is Sophie. Welcome in. For those of you who are joining for the first time, I am so excited to have you here with us. Thank you for allowing me to connect with you. I hope you enjoy your message. If you do, please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave a comment down below. I would love to know how you're doing. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for your love and support. You make what I do possible. I love you to the moon and back. Thank you so much for allowing me to connect with you once again. So, Gem, we're going to go ahead and jump straight into your reading, my love. Please remember that this is a general reading, so this may not resonate with your particular situation. If you find that this is not your story, then this is not your story. We're not tapping into your situation, okay? Please do not force the details of your current experience into today's message. Um, for others of you, though, this is going to resonate very strongly. And if it does, I hope it gives you the clarity and guidance that you seek moving forward. We will be doing an extended reading after the general reading where we'll investigate a little bit more into energies that come up during the reading. Um, relationships, right? Relationships with people that you are connecting with, possibly their feelings and intentions towards you. Um, just any any strange or mysterious energies that come up that we can do a little bit more investigating into um, look into the advice as well moving forward and the long-term outcome between you and people or just you on this journey at the end of the general reading we will pin exactly what will be gone over in the extended so stick around for the end of the reading to see what it is we decide to look into more in depth in the extended i'll leave the link to the extended in the description box down below as well as pinned to the top of the comment section down below along with a link to my personal booking system in case you would like something a bit more personal um, done by me okay so gem let's see what's going on just like in our previous readings together i had gone ahead and done a little bit of meditation on the oracle cards that i pulled on my own but you and i will be pulling from the tarot together okay and so really quickly just to kind of set the scene gem there is somebody here either you are a masculine gemini that i'm connecting with and you are connecting with a feminine counterpart or this is all about the feminine uh, Gemini, okay, that's connecting with me right now. And what I'm getting with the Oracle is by the book and mending. So someone here is trying to correct the situation or um, in an effort to give hope or, li or life to an otherwise disconnected situation, they could possibly be overcompensating. But the thing is, is I feel, Gem, whoever this is that's trying to mend, this is because someone has withdrawn support. Okay, someone has stopped caring, essentially. Because clarifying mending, we have mature woman with community, right? Which you would think means, you know, this could be a, 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 a feminine energy within a group of people who you're connecting with. But I'm, get, I'm sensing more that from this particular feminine energy, there was once a lot of support coming from, from this person, right? And clarifying community, because I was curious, is this a group of people or is this just the mature woman? And I'm seeing here, coffin. Okay, so there's something about the amount of support coming from this feminine energy that has now been withdrawn. There's no more presence, right? And that's that's the that's the the reason for this mending. Whoever this is that's coming in, they're coming in with an apology. They're coming in with um, they're hoping actions that will correct the situation, bring it back to baseline. But I have a feeling that whoever this feminine energy is, it, it's done. Okay, so for those of you masculine Gemini, if you're connecting with a feminine, um, feminine energy. I'm seeing it could be a Scorpio, all right? It could be a Scorpio here. Um, does not necessarily have to be, but because we've got coffin, right? Um, death in the tarot would be would be correlated to Scorpio. But I just, you know, if, if you are the masculine, the feminine that you are connecting with, you're on thin ice with this person. She is definitely not playing nice anymore. It feels like, if anything, she's become very indifferent. If, it, you know, and again, take that as it resonates. If you feel like you're still getting some warmth from her and you guys are reconciling things, um, then this is not the feminine energy I'm tapping into. I'm tapping into an, a feminine energy here that is quite literally at the end of her rope and she has essentially given up any hope that this could be resurrected. All right. By the book, okay, by the book, we had um, clarifying that fa uh, main female with courtship. Okay, so this is somebody who, by the book, it, it just sounds very Hierophant-like, okay? Um, could be a Taurus you're connecting with, but it feels very traditional. It feels like marriage. It feels like a long-term commitment. It feels like somebody who you might have kids with, okay? It, it's a very serious commitment that you and this person have had. And again, for those of you who are feminine Gemini, this has to do with the fact that you were really abiding by the rules of tradition, okay? So monogamy. Um, you were hoping to 
be engaged, get married, have children. You refused to go beyond certain boundaries and standards that are typically designated for um, for husband, right, or for wife. You know, it's like you just you were not willing to go beyond the limitation because you were dating and you wanted something more serious and you figured, well, you know, in order for us to get to that next level, you know, we there are certain rules that have to be abided by. And so that's kind of the out that's kind of the the whoever the, the feminine energy is here, she was willing to give everything provided the security measures were taken, right? That her efforts were not for nothing. And of course, whether her efforts are for nothing depends a lot on what her opinion of the traditions are because what is traditional for one person may not be traditional for the other. So it really depends on what your idea of tradition is, but it's a matter of what you believed, Gem, or the person you were connecting with, what you believed was the right way to go about the situation, you know? And so essentially, and it's funny because under main female is journey and under that is judication. And under that is message. So there could have been some type of either communication or lack of communication surrounding what the final verdict on this particular outcome would look like. Okay, this courtship, this friendship, this partnership. Okay, a matter of, you know, someone here really put their foot down and said, you know what, if this is how it's going to be, then I, ha then I withdraw my support. I can't be around anymore. Enough is enough. The fact that this is journey and it's a 10, right, tells me that this has been a long time coming. With mending, having two children here, I have to wonder, Gem, if maybe you have a couple of kids or if this was so serious, you were hoping to have kids or at the very least, right, because some of us want to live a, a child-free lifestyle, you know, it doesn't have to be children. It can be, you know, just something that you were hoping to build and nurture and grow with a particular person. And that seems to have gone to the wayside. That is no longer an issue. Now, the only issue is, you know, do you or do you not reconcile, right? And if this does, if there is no reconciliation here, then what is the next step? What does this next phase look like between you guys? And it's so funny, eight of cups. I didn't, I didn't even, I didn't even mean that. I pre-shuffled I pre you guys and ended up with that at the bottom. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. Let's pull a full Celtic cross spread for Gemini, please. But whoever this is, Gem, they've had enough. Like, this is, this is, you know. I feel, I feel that whoever, whoever it was here that, whoever it was here that is the one coming back with the apology, I feel like it's coming too late. I feel like it's coming too late. This person is, is, is this person is really withdrawn and they I think the only thing keeping the situation intact is the fact that there might be blood ties or there might be documentation, you know, shared finances, things like that. But outside of that, someone seems to really they're done. You know, they, they really seem to, to be uh, they're not fixating on the solutions anymore. Alright. Okay, let's do a little more. Let's see. Overarching energy is the ace of wands. So definitely the idea of having a new beginning, a creation, right? A new creation. A new spark, right? Something else sparking your interest, something else uh, of filling you with passion, something else inspiring you to, to just have have a new have a new um, have a new outlet, right? Um, when I see the Ace of Wands, typically it's in the context of creating some type of new environment. It's creation. It's not planning anymore. It's like you've already gone through all of that. Um, you've done all, already all the, the mental gymnastics to figuring out exactly what you want this next phase to look like. Now it's just about putting it into action. So for those of you that are this that that are this feminine Gemini, it's like you you know where you're not desired, but you know exactly where you would rather be outside of this. And so this is what is now coming in for you, right? Is what you've always wanted, this opportunity now to create a life um, and find a partner that really resonates with you on the same vibration. So a tower moment probably came through because right now you are in the star energy. You could be connecting with an Aquarius as well. And this is your starting point, right? Is just your efforts with them, your dealings with them. But with the star, this talks about 
uh, your healing, right? It's, a, it's an immense amount of healing, tremendous amount of healing, but it is also quite a distance away from your end goal. So which, uh, whatever this ending might be for you, I think you're realizing, Gem, that there is a long way to go in order to achieve the, to the level of healing that you need to feel better. But the, the relief here is that you know it's achievable. That's the thing. That's that's what you may not have known. That's not that's maybe what you were having a hard time realizing before that you realize now, right? So you've got in the in the um, obstacle, right? In the challenging position, you've got the hanged man, which could indicate Piscean energy for some of you. Uh, that it could, you know, with this person being in the challenge position, this is definitely somebody who is trying to deny the inevitable. This is the, the in this position it's this person here that's holding on this person who is clinging this person who realizes that you gem are done right you are finished with the situation there's really nothing here that can be salvaged and yet they are making unnecessary sacrifice for something that is dead right the relationship the attempts you're not even you're not even acknowledging this person the same way anymore you're just on the road to healing you're moving forward you don't want to stay in the same place this person is trying to get you into staying in the same place you've been and you have outgrown it right now and it's not to say that you do not have anxiety and you don't suffer because you always wanted something stable with them but the realization here is that you you need there's something else waiting for you you want more and what this person is willing to deliver is not enough you see yourself money is very good Okay, Gem, money is very good. You could um, you could be the breadwinner here. Masculine or feminine is irrelevant. You could definitely, you're in charge of your finances, in charge of money. So regardless of how this ends, you will be in a good place. In your environment, you could be connecting with a Capricorn. Uh, you could be connecting with a Capricorn, absolutely. But it looks to me like you are just really elbow deep in some, a really toxic situation. Okay, Libran energy coming through with justice, Aries energy coming in with the fool, Virgo energy coming in with the hermit, and Cancer Piscean energy coming in with the moon. So I just want to reiterate, well, I just want to iterate for the first time, Gem, that you've got a lot of major arcana, four, five, six, seven, uh, one ace, right, a court, two court cards, so you've got very, uh, very impressive delegates who have arrived to, to this meeting, okay, if I can say that. So on your mind, right, on your mind and in your heart space, on your mind you've got the Four of Wands and in your heart space you have the Nine of Swords. So again, a lot of anxiety surrounding this, this strong foundation. This was a misconception. You thought that there was something more here. And maybe at first there was definitely something, mm -mm, okay, so it's not that your eyes blinded you it wasn't that your vision was incorrect but people change and that is permissible by nature that is what we that is what we do uh it could be also that this person was just naturally deceptive because unfortunately we do have the five of swords in the outcome okay so someone here is going to try to manipulate you back into a situation that you've already decided is not for you you already decided right with justice with the fool you've decided you want a new beginning that's neither here nor there for some of you it involves legality legalities this could be a divorce from somebody okay with the hermit here the hermit and the moon okay this is about going within being sure about your decision but the truth is i feel like certainty isn't the issue here it's more of how am i going to create this new life what do i need to do next how can i quickly put this behind me so that i can just start start fresh for others of you, right, you are dealing with a, a Virgo, right, or a Pisces moon, um, a Pisces moon or um, a Cancer, right? Could be connecting with a Libra or an Aries, any one of these signs. But it's a matter of there's no, you're not having discussions with this person anymore, Gem. That's out of the question. You realize that anytime you've ever had a discussion with them, it's always been about why you're wrong or why you should decide to stay in a situation that truly has never served you. Or it, it did once, but it became just so obscenely just opposite of what you wanted going forward that you've decided that you don't want this anymore. In the past with the Queen of Cups, there, there was a, a point of vulnerability where you were talking with one another, probably, you know, really trying to plan for the future. However, coming in, you've got the Five of Cups. So this is about disappointment. It's about loss. Maybe there was something that had happened, right? Well, without a doubt, because you're in the star energy. So the tower came to pass, right? We've got the, to give you perspective real quick, Gem, 
this devil energy is in your environment. Typically, you have the devil followed by the tower and then the star. So you see, we don't have the tower presence here, but it's assumed based on what's appeared that the tower has already fallen, right? In the environment, you still have this connection, but I feel like the tower was a realization that you no longer want this anymore. And so your position, your current position being the star is that you are no longer shocked that this is the reality. You're no longer shocked that this person isn't the one. You may have been in denial before, right? Because you were really investing in this person. But the reason the anxiety eats you up, you know, the reason this anxiety, this possible depression eats you up is just because it's not a matter of, am I sure it's not right? It's that I know it's not right. How do I get myself out of here, right? And if it's not, how do I get myself out of here? It's how quickly can I get myself out of here, right? It, you know, maybe you guys share a living situation. And now you know that because you share this, this home, right? How quickly can you move out feasibly? You are the, you're, you are the king of pentacles. So it's not even about, it's not even about money, right? But it's like, maybe you share other assets. Maybe your family lives in another state and you would rather be closer to them. But that could be a little, that, that would require some planning on your part, right? So it, it just, it depends on your circumstances, Jim. But there's something here that you're very certain you want to let go of and somebody is not wanting to let you go. They don't want you to, to, to leave the situation. So let me just see what this Five of Cups is. What's this Five of Cups? What's this loss? So Knight, uh, King of Swords could be connecting with a uh, an air sign. So we've got Libra. We've got Libra, Aquarius, very both very strong here. Could be connected with a Gemini as well, right? But this could definitely just be you, Gem, right? You just really feeling at a loss, feeling upset that this was something you had to let go of. But the Five of Cups is a very small energy. The magnitude of the Fives are very small, even though, and you have the Five of Cups coming up again with the Devil. Yeah, so you could be connecting with a Capricorn or another air sign, but the truth is, Gem, it's just, it's the fact that you had to let something go. Fortunately, with this Five of Cups, there's a shift in perspective. So you're no longer looking at what's lost, you're looking at what is in front of you. So for some of you, you already have someone in your environment, this other Capricorn possibly, right? If you are connecting with somebody who is in a, who, who you're in a toxic relationship with, there could be someone in your environment, a Capricorn that you've been having a very sweet uh, relationship with, very close, uh, a, a deepening bond, I should say, a deepening bond. But you see, this person is focusing on the three cups that have spilt. This one's focusing on the two still standing. So there's an optimistic view here of the five of cups, letting me know that coming in, while you are going to have this grief stricken demeanor, you are also going to be coming out on top by having a shift of perspective and realizing that more awaits, right? And with the king of swords and the devil, you are cutting ties. You are cutting ties. You are making the physical move to actually, to let the person know what your plans are so that you can go. Right. So you can so you can pack your bags and, and, and hightail it out of there. I feel like that's where for those of you that I'm connecting with for this reading, that's that's what I feel like you are confronted with. You know, I do feel that it is to that extreme. All right. So we're, we're clarifying now the five of swords. You see somebody here wants to keep you in place. One more. A lot of air energy. Someone be very careful. Jump. Someone's going to try to they're going to try to use your words against you. They're going to try to. Oh my god, what the heck? I'm just dropping my whole situation here. Hold on. I had this much left. Let me see if... Okay. Okay. Yeah, be very careful. You see? Someone's being very selfish. Someone's being very selfish. Okay, let me show you. Someone's being very selfish. Six of Swords came out first, followed by the Two of Swords, the Knight of Swords. Okay, so this is all clarifying the Five of Swords. So let me show you. Someone is really trying to come out the victor here, but they want to be—they want you to be one of those people skulking behind, you know, dragging, dragging behind an embarrassment. They, this person really—they have no regard for your comfort. Okay, if they do, it's very little and negligible for the sake of this reading, right? Not even worth mentioning. The truth is, this person is prepared to to leave you, put you back in this level of stagnation where they're going to have you over analyzing whether you leaving is something that you actually want to do they're going to talk to you for sure but they're going to try to they're going to they're going to try to convince you that 
your idea of escaping the relationship is not a solution. It's you being fearful, right? They're going to try to, again, it's almost like that narcissist personality type where they're going to try to tell you that the way you're consuming the information, you know, from this, from this relationship is actually faulty, that it's all the way you're looking at it and that you should look at it in a way of, of, you know, confronting a challenge and growth for you guys without realizing like, listen, growth is an upward trend. We have been on a consistent downward trend where I'm always miserable and you're always getting the benefit of the doubt. You're always in, in the higher, more advantageous position. Like, like I get what you're saying. And for a healthy relationship, that might be the case. But the truth is, this is straight up abusive. I'm not going to sit here and take this just because you're trying to use this reverse psychology on me and, and try to tell me that it's all in my head and it's all the way I'm perceiving it and yada, yada. Right, Jam? Like, you're, I'm sorry, but if you really try to work those mental gymnastics with a Gemini, like, you, ha you have deeper issues than we can, that, that we can't even discuss in this reading. Like, you don't do that okay like there are some people there are some signs there's there's no competition when you're on their turf gem gemini's are just one of those signs like like no <laughs> no i mean no why would you do that no <laughs> but this person obviously doesn't know what who they're dealing with right they don't understand what they're getting themselves into by even trying you this way but gem you're severing ties that's again this but this is them i'm just letting you know like this is them trying to come through with some type of you know verbal finesse where they're going to try to tell you to stay in the same place and you're just like no but they're very greedy okay seven of cups nine of cups the moon very indulgent they're going to try to use your emotions against you use your mind against you right like the psychology your emotions your history that you've established with them but ultimately it's so that they can continue to get more of what they've been getting from you throughout the entire relationship they are th that 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 anxiety that they get when you're not around isn't them missing you it's them not having somebody to control understand the distinction gem i know i know you already know it but try to align your feelings with it because it, it, this person's going to try to yank the chain right mm -hmm. they're going to try to yank the heartstrings and it's to keep you in place but you know better there's nothing there's there's really you've made the decision you know what's better for you and this is not better this person's gonna say well, look at me crying and look at look at the anxiety look at how i am when you know i'm a wreck when we're not together that's because they don't have anyone anymore to tell what to do that causes this type of personality this type of person distress right very heavy narcissism very heavy narcissism very heavy egocentrism self-centeredness okay do not be do not be fooled by this person if they really loved you and you told them time and time again that you're unhappy if this person loved you they would let you go to they would free you so that you can go and pursue this happiness on your own they would want that for you in all of the ways that that doesn't include them they would want this for you okay love is hard don't kid yourself being selfish is easy loving someone truly is hard and this person doesn't even know the beginning of what love means so um, again, take that as it resonates. If this is not your situation, then scrap it. <laughs> okay, then this is just not your situation. For others of you, though, that have followed with me up to this point and feel like this is really tapping into what you're experiencing with this person, we're going to go ahead and take this over to the extended. We called out a bunch of signs in this reading. Um, understand that this can be virtually with anyone that you're, you know, you're Gemini energy and you are just connecting with someone in this environment, in this space. But we've got Libra, Aries, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, very strong Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn twice. Okay, strong uh, strong water as well, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, uh, with the coffin, I will count that as, as some type of tower moment, right? I'll consider the tower moment here because we've got the devil and the star. So that would be strong Scorpio as well. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, right again with the moon. So we've got every sign here but those are the strongest energy so if you're connecting with one of those signs and you feel like this is really in your situation let's go ahead and see uh what this person feels towards you uh what their intentions are moving into the future with you okay uh what your advice is moving out of the situation and what the long-term goal is like what the long-term outcome is going to look for you past this situation maybe new love comes in you, you know what i'm saying so we'll see what lies beyond the conclusion of this situation so you can kind of see get a glimpse of what you can look forward to 
Okay, Jem? My love, thank you so much for allowing me to connect with you. I feel so blessed and so grateful to you for being here. Thank you for hanging in there with me. I appreciate it so much. If you feel like this really resonated and helped you, please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave a comment down below. If you'll meet me over in the extended, the link is down below as well as pinned to the top of the comment section down below. And I will see you there. Other than that, if if I see you next time, that would make that would just make my entire life. So I'll see you next time. Okay, Jem? I love you so much. I'll see you.